Denver seems to be speeding towards spring on days like this, but it feels less sunny in the shadow of Suncor. My parents moved here when I was just born. Liliana Araguin grew up in the Commerce City neighborhood closest to the refinery. Well, it gets a little hard to breathe sometimes. Like her siblings, Liliana struggles with asthma, made worse, she believes, by pollution from the plant. And it's just like always hard to think about what what's going into your body. Like you don't know what is going into it when you're breathing. and. You don't know the long term effects of it, so Liliana doesn't know what she's breathing. Yeah, but Suncor tracks what's going into the air. In environmental report summaries from December to March, company data shows it violated state permits every three days on average. What are they there for if you're breaking them? Suncor reports finding elevated levels of cancer causing benzene in a nearby creek and reports burning more hazardous hydrogen sulfide than allowed. The company says its own air quality monitoring network did not find pollution levels in the air that would immediately hurt people. I think it's crazy because, I mean, if they're breaking the rules, like, I, I think it's like them doing damage to our own health of the community and everything. The company says it follows state health guidelines and it's making improvements and fixing equipment right now. But with the sounds of spring now here, Neighbors near Suncor worry what else is in the air. I definitely think something does need to change. Suncor told me last week it finished restarting one of its three plants that expected the other two would be up and running within days. Jenny. I think I'm as confused as the woman in the story you interviewed, Cole. If there are state rules and they're breaking state rules or regulations, what does the state have something to say about this? Is there an action point here? Yeah, the CDPHE, the state health department, told me that it is waiting until investigation is complete before it takes any disciplinary action. It has taken disciplinary action in the past. In 2019, it fined Suncor $9 million for repeated air pollution violations. We'll have to wait and see if the same thing happens okay. again now. Okay, interesting. Cole, thank you.